So regular savings and sinking fund. Now this is where an individual or a company puts the same amount of money or some amount of money in an account over a period of time. Or we have a, I have a plan of having my wedding. So I can be saving in an investment account towards my wedding. So I'll tell the bank that every month I'm going to put there thousand dollars. So if every month I'm going to put there thousand dollars and I put in there every month thousand dollars for say whatever, 24 months, it is called a regular savings, it is called a single fund. So it could be either you are putting the money there to earn interest for something or you want to buy something in the future so you are putting the money what? aside. That is the idea about regular saving and sinking fund. So let's take a question straight up and let's see how. Mm -hmm. It means the same thing. It means? Yeah, it has the same effect at the end of the day. It has the same effect. Sinking fund, setting some money aside to buy something in the future. Regular saving, putting the money aside to do something in the, to earn some interest in the future. But note that usually it's the same amount that you are setting aside. The same amount. Let's go. Example. Lucky Limited. Lucky Limited invest four hundred dollars now. Lucky Limited invest four hundred dollars now, and a further four hundred dollars each year for three more years, and a further four hundred dollars for three. And a further four hundred dollars each year for three years more. Each year for three years more. How much would the total investment be worth after four years? How much the total investment will be worth after four years? How much the total investment will be worth after four years? At, interest, at an interest rate of 10% per annum. At an interest rate of 10% per annum. At an interest rate of 10% per annum. So, Lekki is putting some money aside, maybe for a business acquisition. So, let's see what happens. We can have what we call the timeline of the investment. Now, when we have the timeline of the investment, this is how you draw it. How many years do we have? Now, zero, one, two, three, and the fourth year. Let me just run this line off. This will be called a payment timeline. Now, so year zero, year one, year two, year three, and then year four. How much is Lekki putting now? 400. So this 400 will be there for four years. Another 400 will be there for three years. Another 400 will be there for two years. Another 400 will be there for a year. How many, how many is she paying? Five or four? How many is? No, relax. So. He says, how much will it be? After four years, yes. So one, two, three, four years. That's what I was thinking of. So what does it mean? This will be multiplied by one point zero one point one, say ten percent. Yeah. And this will be there for how long? Four. This will be there for how long? Three. This will be there for how long? Two. And this will be there for how long? Exponent one. But we don't write it. Do you understand what we are saying? So the first money she puts there. Sorry, the company puts there will be there for how many periods? Four periods. 
The second man will be there for three periods. The uh, third will be there for two periods, and then the fourth one will be there for only a period in relation to that. So the question is, how do we calculate how much lekki you have at the end? So let's go. First investment. Year zero will be 400 times 1.1 1 .1 exponent 4. What you got? So you can't do this number line. <laughs> As a number line. This is the traditional approach. I'm coming to use another a formula to illustrate that to you. What do you have? Five point five. Did you say five point five? Five eight. Okay. Point six. Six four. Add it up. Progression concept is in commas where we say that the sum at the end of the period equals a out rn minus 1 over r minus 1, where s is the sum at the end, a is the annual payment or deposit, then the R is small r plus big R. Sorry, small r plus one. Or deposit. If it was made at the end of the year, 
then it means that our S will be equal to the annual installment of what? 400 amps. Remember I told you the R is what? Small R plus big R. That will be 10% plus 1. And that will be what? 0.1. And that will be 1.1, right? So it's going to be 1.1 exponent 4 minus 1 all over 1.1 minus 1. What do I have? Getting the same answer. Yeah. That's it. So make sure you get you know that you get the difference. When to use what? So, 2042.04, that's it. So, if the payment is made at the end of the year, this would have been the answer. But in this question, payment is made at the start of the year. So, this would be your answer. I get in the same answer. I get in the same. So let me give you an illustration to look at. Write it down. Kenechi Limited invests $1,000 now. Kenechi Limited invests $1,000 now. And a further $1,000 each year for five more years. Kennedy Limited invests thousand dollars now and a further thousand dollars each year for five more years. Each year for 
five more years. How much would the total investment be worth after six years? How much would the total investment be worth after six years? If interest is earned at the rate of 8% per annum, if interest is earned at the rate of 8% per annum, if uh, be worth after six years, if interest is earned at the rate of 8% per annum, annum, annum. Don't, don't draw the investment schedule. Use the formula. Use the geometric progression formula. So here, okay, let me not talk, continue. 